So, of course, uh, your vision and your hundred-year plan. This, uh, you know, um, you know, awareness amongst the youth. You know, you're two things. Create awareness, and you know, ironically, the ladies here in this hall who actually wrote down the hundred-year plan. I that's what you know. What? Why am I talking about source code the first time? Unless we start doing something, lecturing is not just going to cut it. Understand this. We have to do something about it. Hundred-year plan. is written by a girl okay she is running source code is written by a girl perceived by a girl that's how implementable all of these things are what what is the under your plan a regular man does not get to see his great grandson okay so his effects are only till his grandson not the great grandson so we take these three generations the grandfather the father and the grandson and we plot the timeline over it so in any given 100 years these three people are alive that's your 100 year strata once you look at this 100 year strata we look at what this grandfather has done in good or bad ways both and if his father is his son if he is going to inherit all of it which he's gonna what can we do to stop the damage which is critical thinking and challenging the status quo and going against the tide the courage the character and whatever is going to get good he's going to transfuse that back into his, his son which is the grandson then you know transform his son according to his father no good things but we now know that every single grandson is literally a worse copy of his grandfather which is what the hadith says as well So this is the hundred-year plan for source code, and unless we know that we have certain skills to challenge whatever was my, given to my by my father, against my father, challenge it, and then make sure my son does not go through whatever I have gone through, and he gets a bigger aperture to see things better and more clear, and then what? That's it. That's not the hundred-year plan. That's how the hundred-year plan starts. That's the hundred-year strata, right? Any and every hundred years, you can see that a philosophy actually starts to take its shape, even if it starts from zero. It takes its shape and takes over the world. That's the intellectual hunger of all human beings. So we need to prepare the intellectual core of all Muslims. Raise their IQs. make them understand the universe better make them understand the geometry of the universe and the mathematics of the universe through this geometry of not just just numbers but the science of sound which is geometry does you know the the wave the wave functions and you can understand why certain gifts were given to the prophets alayhi salam and these were the gifts from this universe the whole mathematics is very clear we'll see a video of the fibonacci series and we just get you know all struck there's a lot more than the you know the divine numerical code is it's the functioning of the code our kids need to understand that and i'm just talking about mathematics here which is the basis of physics and through that we understand the quran a million times more better why because when we can plot the whole map of the universe and whoever does that first is going to guide people the rest of the people towards the the the, the, the bigger questions of why we are here what's going on outside planet and whoever's trying to answer that is naturally calling the shots on you know whatever we do and that's why muslims are i want to teach mathematics and physics and all stem fields once you get the hierarchy of darwin is clear in your mind then you'll know why i'm talking about stem in particular if you combine stem with the quran and the sira you make the perfect combination of how to lead people and maintain them So that's why I'm saying Quran competence and sira sense needs to be given inside the STEM fields, and that's why I am. We just op- opening inshallah in August with the mathematics, and we're going to drag mathematics as deep as we possibly can, so that the STEM becomes a part of our appeal. Because right now STEM is the part of anyone's appeal. Whoever is ruling the intellectual world right now is ruling through STEM. So uh, you're starting STEM from August, but you know source code is. No, I'm starting from Arabic. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already and see that. Yeah, it's already there on the go. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So you're starting with STEM uh, from August. So school is actually operating uh, in a very different way that a normal school does. So what are the requirements for some for the for the students? There needs to be a basic. They have to be a conscious 
mommy and conscious daddy, and that's your only requirement. We start languages at the age of four, preferably five, but four, and if she really or he or she can read really well, then three. And there is no limit to language. We have more people who are adults and 60-year-olds, and uh, uh, 70-year-olds are learning Arabic, you know, uh, five days a week. Uh, so the requirement is not for languages, for STEM, I'm making a cut over seventh year of the life of the child. If he's not hit seven yet, we're not, unless of course he's exceptionally gifted in some certain fields and, you know, he's going to take it up. Otherwise, I don't want to put any pressure on the human brain because I know how the brain works. So language is the only thing under seven years of age we should be giving to our kids. So we started with the language and then we're going into mathematics. I'm starting with the logical sequence. I could have started with biology, but I was like, you know what? Let's go with the kind of plan that, you know, I'm giving homeschoolers because that is the logical plan. That's how the brain works. So first the brain learns the languages. Then it starts the algorithm, starts to generate the pawns. And then it starts to connect the pawns, which is social sciences, you know, which is the prefrontal cortex. So we, a source code is also from Arabic to mathematics to physics to chemistry to biology to, to sociology, to psychology, and then to theology. That's the natural organic cycle of the brain. That's what we're doing. No, require, other than, of course, a working internet, because we're all online. So seven-year-old kids can actually start with STEM? And with STEM, yeah. yeah. And uh, a four-year-old can start with, uh, with, the languages. with Arabic. Yeah, Arabic. They're only teaching Arabic.